Hello guys, welcome to Linux Ort. In this video, I want to show you how to connect to your Linux Mint via RDP or how to connect from Linux Mint to another RDP session. This is remote desktop handling within Linux. And today I'm going to show you how to do this very easily. For example, in your local network. If you want a TeamViewer alternative, then have a look at rustdesk.com. There you can also kind of do some remote desktop work, but you have to use a third party server for that. For example, the server from Rustdesk, or you can also host your own server. If you want a tutorial for Rustdesk, just let it me know in the comments. But in this video, we are gonna do the RDP way, which doesn't need any middleman. You can directly access from another computer to the other one. But the requirement for this is that both computers are at the same network. This could also be via VPN, for example. Today, we want to connect from this Linux Mint machine to this Linux Mint machine. These are both in the same local network. So for example, at our home, and I would say, let's start. The first thing to do on our Linux Mint machine to which we want to connect later via RDP is to open up a terminal and to enter the command sudo apt update. Then we have to type in our password and it is updating. Then we can type in sudo apt install xrdp and I press enter and this looks good. I press enter again. And now this is installing. Now the RDP server is already running. Now we have to ensure that our firewall is configured, that RDP connections are available. We can do that by typing in sudo uv allow 3389. This is the RDP port. Then I press enter. So what we have to do now is to close everything and to log out from our Linux Mint session. Because you can only access a user account which is logged out via RDP. That's a requirement. So for that, I go to the menu and select log out and log out. This was in German, but I guess you will get it. Um, the other machine, this is in English, like we are used to it. So on the machine from where I want to access the other machine, I have to install the app Remina. For that, I'm opening up the software manager and I'm searching for Remina. I highly recommend you to take the normal Remina, not the flat hub. I recommend you to take this system package here and I select install and we see, yeah, there are some plugins already incoming. We need this Remina plugin RDP. So this is great. This will be installed too. So I select continue and I type in my password and this takes a little moment. After some seconds, this is already installed. And what we have to do now is to select launch. Now we can add a new connection profile, but now we need something like a server. Yeah. Do we have a server? Yeah, we have kind of server because we installed XRDP on the other machine, but we need to find out the IP address of this machine. This is something similar like your living address, for example. For that, we head over to the other machine. We log in once again. And if we are logged in back, we can now head over to our network settings. And here in the network settings, we see our, our IPv4 address. This is in my case, this address. Just take a piece of paper and write this IP address down so you don't forget it. And if we have written down this IP address, I close everything and we log out again. And now we can access from our other Linux Mint machine here, this second Linux Mint machine. So I type in the IP address we just wrote down and then I head over to the username. There I just write my normal username on Linux Mint. This is always in small letters. And for example, if you open up a terminal, then you see also such a username, but you need the username of the other machine. On my machine, this is the same username. So we take this one and after that we take the password um, for this machine, how we log in just normally 
And, and this is it for our quick connect. I type in my second Linux Mint machine as a name and select save and connect. And we see enter RDP authentication credentials. This looks good. We don't need any domain. So I select OK and just have a look. Perfect. This looks great. And you see this is very small and yeah, we don't want to use it like this. So we just select log out here and select log out again. Then this should go away. And now we press right click on this entry and select edit. Now we have to edit some further settings. You could enable multi-monitor support, which is very cool. I highly recommend you this. This works just great out of the box. You can also define the resolution. I personally recommend you always to use the client resolution. This is great. Also, we can share a folder here from our first Linux Mint machine with our second Linux Mint machine. For example, I can share my whole personal folder. So I press once at my name here, then we see the address of this folder. I copy it and paste it in there. This is great. I select save here and we now reconnect by double clicking it and select OK. Just wait a second. Here we now see our Linux Mint machine inside our other Linux Mint machine and we see, yeah, it's just working quite fine. We see our file manager here and it just looks like your normal Linux Mint screen. So we see this is great. Also, we have something like thin client drives. This is our shared folder. I double click it and here we are now in the thin client drives. And if I open that up, we see all my folders from my first Linux Mint machine on the second Linux Mint machine. Um, so I can take my files with me via the RDP session. This is also a very cool feature if you have to use it. Also, for example, Control Z and Control V just works like expected. And you also see something like grab all keyboard events. This is also great. So if you activate this one at the upper border here, then you can, for example, press the super key and you will get the menu from the Linux Mint machine we are connected to. This is in German. And if we minimize this window, we can do this by this arrow here. And if I open up here the menu, this is in English. So you see, perfect. We can now almost do everything in there. Just another small hint, if this is too small for you or the connection is very poor through that Linux Mint machine. Just right click your desktop, select change background, head over to settings and select on your picture view mode, no picture or no image. Then this is only with one color in my case, black. This saves a lot of data. And also another cool hint is if we log out again from here, then our RDP session closes. We select edit here and we can, for example, set a custom resolution. For example, if you have 1920 to 1080, you can also add another resolution, for example, 1600 to 900. Make sure there's a small X between them and press enter. And you can now select this one here in the selection menu and you hit save and connect and we select OK, this looks good. We see a screen which is a bit smaller. And if we choose toggle scaled mode here in the upper corner, then we have scaled it back. So this is now a bit bigger everything, but also saves a lot of data because there are fewer pixels which need to be sended between the machines. This is great if you're using a VPN from the outside to connect to your computers inside your local network. And if you're doing VPNs, please make sure you are doing WireGuard VPN instead of Cisco for VPN, for example, because WireGuard is a lot faster. If you want to see a video how we do WireGuard VPNs, just let it me know in the comments and we will do a video about this. So this was it for today. In this video, I showed you 
how to connect from one Linux Mint machine to another Linux Mint machine. This also works with other Linux systems, very similar. And also how to optimize your RDP settings to get a better connection and just work like you are present on that machine. This was it for today. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel to get even more useful tips. Every week we are uploading a new video on YouTube. So stay tuned and see you in the next one. Bye.